Hola, hola. My name is Ramon, cosmetic formulator, esthetician, self-care fanatic. It is Sunday. I am in my bathroom. It means we're going to be doing a self-care Sunday routine of sorts. As you know, for me, I'm all about skincare. I'm all about effective products, working to achieve desired results, but I'm also an advocate for going back to basics and really enjoying the products you like to use just for the sake of enjoying them. Getting back to the ritual of what skincare is. For me, fundamentally, skincare is really about self-care. It's my time to unwind, relax. I like the feels, the texture, the sensory. And so with that today, I'm just gonna be focusing on a routine that's again, centered around enjoying a routine for the sake of doing so, but featuring some newer products, products that are newer to me and that I've gotten maybe in the last month or so that I haven't yet introduced on the channel. Also, today's video is actually gonna be done in partnership with another self-care advocate, Keys Soul Care. If y'all don't know, that is Miss Alicia Keys, that Alicia Keys. Skin care brand. It's really focusing on what I really appreciate is a lot of different elements of what self-care is. You not only have different skincare products, which I'll be using a handful of here and there in the video, but you also have body care and also some lifestyle things. So it's really encompassing a lot of different elements of treating yourself, focusing on yourself and your mental health and enjoying the little things in life. So with that, let's set the mood. I'm going to be first starting off with lighting her key soul care candle. This is in the fragrance, the scents, the flavor, sage and oat milk. This candle smells delicious, but to me, it smells more like a coconut thing. I don't know about you guys. I am from the Caribbean. Coconut is a lot of stuff we eat and we like. We have these things called limbes and limbes are basically, if you take this like fruit juice and freeze them in these plastic cups, and then what you do is you like push the little ice part out and invert it. So it's still sitting in the cup. The cup is now the cone. They have a coconut one. It's like coconut cinnamon or something like that. That's what this smells like to me. Yummy, delicious, sweet. I'm gonna be real. I'm a candle girl, but I'm not like a candle girl. You see people like that. The different like wick things and this like the whole candle accessory setup. I just like candles for the sake of candles. You can see it's very smoky. So I have the aesthetic, the vibe, the aroma. And let's get into the routine. We're gonna do a fresh cleanse, obviously. And this was a hot inquiry on my channel with my favorite cleansers of 2021, the Naturium Purple Ginseng Cleansing Balm. This I got roughly a month ago. So this is a very, very new addition in my skincare routine. Do I like this? Yes. But for me, like I wanna get to know a product, familiarize myself with it, learn the ins and outs. This is too fresh into my routine to really say it's a favorite of the year. So do know I do like it, but that's why I was not in that video. Everyone in the comment section was like, what about the Naturium Balm. What about the Naturium Balm? It's still forming my opinion, but also I do want to do a comparison with this and the Youth to the People Balm. Dry hands, dry face. We're going to start to melt that down and work it in. Leave it to Susan Yara, aka Queen of a Balm Cleanser, Queen of an Oil Cleanse, to formulate a real nice balm cleanser. It's super silky, super velvety. There's no scent to this. It smells, of anything, slightly of the raw ingredients of the product, but there's no fragrance to this, which, which there was. I'm definitely someone who loves a scent loves of fragrance and just because this feels so luxe and so nice to me it's just like that missing component would have been the fragrance if like just take it to the next level sensory wise but she formulated the hell out of this product i'm trying to get on that innovation team at notorium because they do so much when it comes to the textures and the feels and the overall elegance of products rinse this off and then we're going to get into the second cleanse for the second cleanse a product that i have been very hyped to try it came out forever ago so it's new to my routine only selfless by hiram like a month ago at this point i got a little message a little DM from Hiram himself. They're like, hey, we're having a launch event in the UK and London would love for you to come. So I went, I got to meet Hiram. Did not take photos on my phone. They're on his phone. So if I can get those, I'll pop them up on screen. But just now I got to meet Hiram and I got to meet Robert and James Welsh. And we all went to dinner together and it was, it was everything. But also I got to get a handful of these selfless products. So this is the cleanser. And I was really excited to try this because specifically James loves this cleanser and I've seen a lot of great things about it. So the reason I I was really hyped to try this was it is a centella and green tea cleanser. I'm a hoe for centella. I live for anything with centella asiatica. It's just such a great ingredient. Lots of research showing its anti-inflammatory benefits. What I've noticed with the selfless products and why I was kind of interested to try them out is they have a lot of Korean influence in them. And like, I know Hiram is really into Korean skincare. That was the reason why I discovered him so many years ago was because like him and James were posting about a lot of the Korean products I really liked and they helped me discover a lot of different brands and products. But this cleanser specifically is really nice. It's a gel cleanser. It actually kind of reminds me more of the Crave Matcha Hemp Hydrating Cleanser and that it's more of like a jelly. It's really plush on the skin. I think this is gonna be a really great sensitive skin option as well. James, I get it. I know you like this. 
So before we let our skin dry out too much, let's start to add the hydration in while we're still a little bit damp. And for that, I'm gonna start off with from the Keys Soul Care, the Reviving Aura Mist. A lot of the Keys stuff to me seems so extra, but in the most like glamorous way. Like it's all about this like aura, this vibe, this sensation, this feel. And this definitely creates that. This has, first of all, beautiful packaging. This feels luxe, it feels expensive, it looks amazing. You don't see a lot of purple in skincare. But even just the misting mechanism, just it's giving luxury fragrance. It smells like rose. It does have Damascus rose water in there, but you also have a specific ingredient called Rose of Jericho. It's in a few of the products in the line. That's paired with witch hazel and some other heme mechanisms in this. It's really just meant to balance the skin out, revive the skin. It kind of has poor refining qualities to it. For me, I really like this because it has some of the astringent properties I personally like having oily acne prone skin, but it also does start the hydration process. I find this is nicely rich with humectants so that my skin does feel very plush and hydrated afterwards. I'm not shy with this. We are very generous with it. This just like wraps you up in like beautiful hydration. You just smell so expensive. I love a treat yourself moment. Let me tell, let me say that right now. I love a luxury skincare moment, but even for myself, I'm like, mm, I, I have a budget. That being said, I recently received a product that I've had my, I've seen and I've had my eye on for a long time, for several many years. It's Lux. Like it is the epitome of Lux and that is the SK2 facial treatment essence. When I worked at Sephora, I knew all about this and I would like play with it here and there. And let me just say, I'm going to be as objective as possible. Is this a nice product? Yes. It specifically is noted for this Patera, which I don't know if you can see there. It's Galactomyces Ferment. You find it considerably in K-Beauty products. It's a beautiful fermented ingredient. I love fermented ingredients. It shows promises of like being really nourishing to the skin, really hydrating to the skin, having some antioxidant benefits. And they discovered the ingredient back, back, back in the day because people who worked at like sake manufacturing places would have the most youthful skin on their hands because they were like getting down and dirty with the sake and the fermented ingredients. Let's take that for the face. It's nice and it makes your skin look so good and it feels nice. Is it worth the price for this? That is your own personal preference. There are alternatives to this that I do love and are fractions of this price, but is this nice to have and like get in your luxury bag about? Yes. So I am not complaining, but I also understand this is for a specific demographic. And you can see I just take it, pour some into my hands, pat it into my skin. It is nicely hydrating. Realistically, looking at the ingredients list, that Galactomyces ferment is the bulk of the formulation. I think it's like 90 something percent. And there's not much else outside of that. Whereas I know like Misha has alternatives that have like nice and in them. This makes me live that bad and bougie lifestyle that I belong to. I'm just not entirely in the socioeconomic echelon yet. Next we're gonna be going in with the Promise Serum. And what caught my eye about this was that this is a niacinamide and zinc PCA serum, which is beautiful for <laughs> oily acne prone skin. Zinc itself is nice for everyone. It's just one of those ingredients that just does everything and has so many benefits regardless of what your skin type is. Think of it as two components, the zinc and the PCA part. Zinc itself is great for oily acne prone skin with regulating sebum production and also specifically having some anti-acne benefits to it. The PCA portion is a specific kind of acid. It lives in the same family as like azelaic acid. It's called a carboxylic acid. It's a natural moisturizing factor. So it's something that's naturally found in the skin that just helps to regulate skin moisture levels and whatnot. And aside from that, you have really beautiful humectants. It is a very plush hydrating serum. You also have mushroom extract in there. It infuses the skin with a lot of moisture. It is a very potent humectant. You can like really feel and see on the skin how plush and how radiant that is. So it definitely has a lot of benefits for dehydrated dry skin as well. And then you have a really nice vitamin C derivative. It shows really promising results and very promising benefits in terms of doing a lot of the things pure vitamin C can do in just a much more stable, gentle way. So you're getting the antioxidant benefits, some of the pigments, fighting benefits as well. It just does a lot to really regulate skin hydration levels, give you that beautiful plush look. This is alcohol and fragrance free. So it's actually, I think the most straightforward, non-sensory related product, but it just makes your skin look and feel nice. But you wanna go in with just a little bit more. Fun fact, let me know down below in the comment section, what is your favorite Alicia Keys song? I have listened to Alicia Keys my entire life. Her first album was everything to me. My favorite Alicia Keys song is You Don't Know My Name. Just love everything about that video, that vibe, that song, the song is beautiful. But also the video itself was a meme for a long 
time if you don't know. There's this whole like scene. So in the music video, she's a waitress and this guy always comes in and she's like mad into him. And so he always orders a hot chocolate with his meal and she like gets his number somehow, calls him up and in the phone call, but you hear in the song, she talks about how she's like, I don't make it with water like I'm supposed to. I make your hot chocolate with milk. It's really weird. It's so random. That's my favorite Alicia Keys song. Let me know yours down below in the comment section. Close number two, let's try sleeping with a broken heart. That is my sad song. Great song. Next up, let's lock in this hydration. Let's keep this glow lasting all night long. New launch from Glow Recipe. I have talked about how much I love their Plum Plum Hydrating Serum. It hydrates in a way that I have yet to experience from any other brand and I I don't know this word street behind it. They launched a new product that essentially is its sister product, and that is the Plum Plump Hyaluronic Cream for Dewy Moisture and Plump Skin. First of all, look at this packaging, so cute. They have their watermelon line, and they have a really beautiful, like, gel moisturizer in that. They have their banana souffle cream. This exists between the two of those. It's hydrating, so it's a moisturizer really focusing on having more humectin benefits, but it's a nice moisturizer. This would be if, like, the Naturium Niacinamide Gel Cream and the Pharrell Human Race product had a baby be this. Also, and I've never noticed this with any other Glow Recipe products before, this is an insert. So they're taking a card from like a lot of other brands now doing refillable inserts inside of the more like sturdy packaging. So you just pay for this next time you want the backup product pops right in. It is such a beautiful texture. Having oily acne prone skin, I really have to be careful about what I use during the daytime because one wrong move and you are an oil slick all day. And this just preps the skin so nicely underneath a nice sunscreen just because right now it's winter here in the UK. And so the winter is rough and you can see just how nice that glow is. Another home run product from Glow Recipe. Cannot miss. I can't wait to see what else they come up with. And then the last step, this is the comforting balm from Key Soul Care. I love a balm. For me, it's the multifunctional benefit of a product like this because first of all it's great for your lips it's really nice exclusive to help lock in moisture hydration and really level up your moisturization process so on top of your moisturizer on any areas you want to like heavy duty lock that in this is a great product so for example for this routine i did use my hydrators on my lips and like this will just lock in the hydration in my lips and then when i wake up in the morning my lips are juicy and soft the brand also recommends any area you want extra tlc around dry cracked or maybe even compromised skin dry cracked elbows heels, knees, any area on the face, honestly. Something else to consider, especially if you're into skincare, is something like this is really nice in areas around like the corner of your eyes, your nose, and your mouth if you're using retinoids, because this helps to kind of buffer and protect those areas so you get a lot less of an intense effect of those retinoids and thus you're preventing like cracked, compromised skin as a result of retinoid usage. Something like this around the nose area, around the eyes, and also just around the eyes in general if you want to like really lock in the moisture in those eye areas if you suffer from like dry under eyes where fine lines are an issue, especially with makeup. Something like this at night is really useful as a deep moisturizing step. And also it just smells really nice. It has a really light, fresh scent to it. It's a nice last step in your nighttime routine, especially because when I try to go to sleep, having those extra scents and everything around me is just really relaxing, very soothing, and just gets me in the right headspace to mentally clock out and knock out for the night. And so with that, that is a self-care Sunday routine focused around pampering yourself, a luxury-esque skincare routine featuring today's video partner, Keys Soul Care. So again, I'll have links for all the products down in the description box. Let me know down below in the comments section. Have you tried Keys Soul Care products yet? What are your favorite products from the line? And also let me know what other skincare products do you love to incorporate into a luxe skincare self-care routine just because I always love expanding my collection. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and notification bell so that you know when I post more skincare, sunscreen, self-care, and Fenty-related content on my channel. Give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching, guys. Bye!